Baby, you my everything. everything. You, you all I ever wanted. wanted. You can do it real big. Bigger than you ever, ever done, done it. All the hoes been everything. All the hoes been everything. I don't know how it goes after yeah, that, but yeah. welcome to Super Mega Cast. Yeah, it's episode 282. That's a palindrome, Three, baby. 282. Two. Okay, we're because we're, we, we were thinking about scheduling and seeing if we were going to flip flop because we're recording another podcast tomorrow with a special do wanna, guest. Do, do you want to flip flop them? No, I was just I, I just was unaware of like the actual decision that was made. Yeah. Okay. We'll 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 uh, we'll, we'll just do them regularly, so we yeah. got more time to get the other one out. Yeah. Okay. Next week's a real special guest. This week is just. Uh, the only boys. special guest is the Holy Spirit sitting between me and Ryan on the couch right now. Apparently, people like the episodes with just you and I. They mm. they they find it to be like sometimes when we get guests, like when we get a string of guests on, like let's say a few podcasts in a row or every other podcast, they're like, let's take a break from the guests. They just want the boys. I just want to be with the boys. Well, luckily, guys, today you get you get just the boys, and uh, next week you'll get the boys with another boy you will all be very excited to, to, to hear but this week just the boys you know uh mom and dad aren't home no nope. we're gonna we're gonna be on our worst behavior oh we're gonna be we're gonna be we're gonna be doing some stuff we're gonna regret but they one. gave me the car keys <laughs> for emergency mm, emergencies yeah, yeah. And they left 15 dollars cash on the counter i might have to go to 7-eleven uh-oh in case we need to order pizza or Ooh. something but I don't know that that might have to be used Ooh. for a pack of smokes at Seven Eleven. Who knows? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Is this charge at Seven Eleven? Oh, I got a few Gatorades because we were dehydrated. We were, oh, we needed our electrolytes, Mom. I got some milk. I got us some some bottles of milk. Once, you see, Mom, you always want us to be drinking our milk, so go <laughs> big and strong. <laughs> is, that, is that you sucking on a nipple? No, I was just doing that at Mom. I was going. <laughs> oh, okay. It's not. It's not necessarily a kiss. It's just like a lip smack, like. So you're, you're, uh, I was about, I was called, I was about, for some reason in my head, it was corn dogging. What is it called when corn dogging? <laughs> no, but what is it called when you're cat calling? <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> Yo, those guys are <laughs> corn dogging that girl over there. <laughs> hey, baby. Mommy. <laughs> They're corn dogging me. <laughs> I love seeing construction workers corn dogging girls on New York City streets. Oh, I gotta love it. Oh, oh man. We got some, know, what? I was just about to say, you know, I, I got cat called. Really? Mm-hmm. You got corn dogged? Yeah, I got corn dogged. What happened? Well, it was this like older woman. And <laughs> sorry, I was just gonna lead into a your mom joke. And I okay, okay, do it. okay. You couldn't. I was even gonna do tell. It. I was gonna tell a story like that was interesting, and I was like, <laughs> and I asked her what her name was, and she said it was Ann Watts. You know, I was gonna end like yeah, that. Yeah, that would have been good though. I'm, yeah, it would have been. Did did you did you just give up or did you just end up accidentally laughing a little bit? I ended up accidentally okay. like because like even if my face shows a little bit, uh-huh. I just have to give up because it's like I'm looking at you with these. You, you and I are both good at like picking up the most minute tells. Oh, we know. So it's hard to pull one off on each other because m- more so than like other people. People sometimes. always wonder sir, if certain things are a bit, but when I when you and I do it to it. We, there's never any question on if it's a bit or not. Like I, I, when I, I can, I can, there, there might be a few seconds where you, you, you've thrown off the trail, but ultimately, uh, I, I, I just the tiniest little detail, I'll be like, that's a bit, he's doing a yeah. bit and you, and you know, with me too. So unfortunately, we uh, still get each other from time to time every now and then. Yeah. Every now and then the, the bit, the bit, the bit doing skills is, is definitely, uh, something that you and I have picked up off each other. So we, we know each other's tactics. We, we know each other's weak spots. We talked about it on the last podcast. It caused a big kerfuffle. Yeah. Just a bit, uh, the crack smoking? No. The, um, the Twitter stuff. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But that one should have been obvious. Mm. Like, I, I don't know. To some people, I guess, who don't know you, they just see like, che- like little check marks and they're like, what are what? Check marks fighting? I haven't heard of these check marks. I love, uh, it's like that type of people shit. People hate check marks on Twitter. I'm glad to be one of those. You and I are you're two of those check marks that people can hate if they want. Oh, you know what's exciting? What? Trevor's coming in today. Ah, fuck. What time is what <laughs> time? What, forgot. what time is he coming in? 8 30. That's when he's gonna be at my place. <clears throat> fuck. You're not picking him up from LAX? Nah, dude. I said fuck that Trevor. <laughs> not during gonna, rush hour traffic? No, man, get yourself a little fucking Uber, dude. You know, I'm sure Schlatt pays you enough. Go, go get an Uber. I'm not picking you up from LAX. He sounds like he doesn't care about the Minecraft server. Trevor? Yeah. He definitely doesn't. You know, it's kind of disappointing. But I thought this would be a, a, a second chance for him. Yeah. You know, the first Epic SMB he botched so, so, so poorly. 
um or so not poorly so so massively yeah and the second one like i'm still having fun on it i love to get on it's 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 definitely like chill and i really enjoy every time i go on there and stream sometimes i don't stream and i get on there yeah i've done that too super nice but uh it's just it's just like i'm gonna he so i had a collection of a bunch of fish yeah from that aquaculture mod and re-downloading the mod or something like that i don't know what happened but it made all of my fish that i collected originally disappear really i had a, probably hundreds of fish <sighs> really and it's all trevor's fault because he keeps updating the server he keeps yeah, they're just, asking they're people just... to put drag more like delete the mods drag more mods in it's throwing people off you know what it was i bet that it saved the fish data in that mod folder and then you deleted it to put the new one in. Yeah. Ridiculous. Trevor, Trevor is... I should have... J <sighs> honestly, I'm just disappointed in them. Yeah, yeah. You know? It's just very disappointing. Um, We should talk about that uh, when he's here. Like, we should take him out to dinner and just kind of, like, sit him down and be like, hey, we're kind of really disappointed in the direction you took this. Uh, honestly, we could get him on episode after next, and, and maybe we could take him out to dinner this week and covertly record our, our dinner conversation about it. Just to it. make sure if he says anything that we legally... um. Well, we can't actually record. Wait, can we record people illegally? Yeah, you can. No, wait, that doesn't make sense. Can we record people without their express <laughs> can consent? Can you record people illegally? <laughs> can you legally record people no, illegally? Can you, can you record people without their express consent? How do journalists do it? I think it's if it's in a public place, yeah. Hmm. Like, you know, journalists always go I'm sure to like cafes. it's a state cafes. thing too, right? Mm. Or maybe it doesn't exist like... I'm pretty sure it's public property. Journalists do it and, and they take them out to places like Starbucks and record them saying like... Yeah, so Hillary Clinton's got a big fat clit. <laughs> the whole world's gonna find out. And then uh, they leak it the to the world press. Has to know. <laughs> it was huge. Hillary. Hillary? No, show us the clit. She's trying to distract us. She doesn't. She she's has, hiding the clit. She's hiding. It's a big old clit. Donald. Not Donald wants you to believe that I've got an enlarged clitoris. She does. I've, we've all heard then the why tape, don't Hillary. You just show everyone. Just show everyone. Show it, Hillary. If you don't have a large clip, you could just in this right now show it and no one will be asking. Donald, how about you show your tax returns? Oh! How about you show the clip, Hillary? I, I wish that, like... That was great. I wish that... It, 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 I wish... I hope 2024 is, is Trump and, and Hillary again. <laughs> no. I saw I saw rumors no. that that was what it was going to be. And I'm like, no one's going to let that happen. We haven't, like, had, a, like, a... Decent fucking election in a long time in terms of getting someone in office that represents at least the voice of the country for the most part well. It's it's kind of hard to do Man. that for for some reason. I don't know why. The day this country went down the fucking toilet was January 20th, 2009. <sighs> the day George Bush and Dick Cheney left office. <laughs> Fuck. Everything changed after that. We ended up going to war in the Middle East. Yep. Uh, just, we, we had the fucking <laughs> attacks in New York. Like, everything fucking just went down after that. Pisses me off, man. Dude, Dick Wait, Cheney is so awesome. We had attacks in New York before 2009. Not when Bush was president. <laughs> no. Yeah, you're right. There were some attempts, but <laughs> second Obama, uh, took office. That's when, that's when things started. Did she you see who he invited family. to the White House? Cy? Yeah. Yeah, and guess what? Cy has some... Uh, some some lyrics where he sings about killing Yankees. Okay, Ooh. so yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really digging this. Uh, Obama. Would you character. invite Hitler to the White House? Uh, no. But I'm sure Obama would have. Yep. And I actually, I'm sure Biden probably has the ghost of Hitler on his fucking guest list right now. Because <sighs> he's going to become a ghost soon. Uh huh. He's just trying to secure a nice spot. Now. That's not a threat. That's more of like. <laughs> That's like Biden is very old. Hey, Super Mega Saves the Troops, the forward does say Joe Biden, 1940, whatever, He's not doing a to second 2022. Term. No, no, no way, right? No, Biden's not doing a second term. Trust me. Okay. It, well, that could also be taken as a threat. See, I hate that I can't say it's like, oh, uh, the, the, the current president will not be having a second term. Trust, trust me. me. Why, why should, so why should we trust you specifically? Do you know something that we don't? No, I'm just saying trust, trust, tr hey, trust, trust the super mega boys on this one. What does that mean? Joseph R. Biden will not be, uh, this is very serious, Matthew. I want you to realize office. this. This is very serious. Well, I hope the Secret Service shows up at the doors of the super megaplex to ask us a few questions. We're here at, we're, we're, we're here at our headquarters and I'm asking you questions. I'm going to have to come down to the super This isn't a bit. going to have to fly from D.C. to California to find out. 
Okay, what, what, okay, how far actually could we go until we actually get a visit from the Secret Service? Right? Because I'm sure, honestly... I don't want to fucking test the waters. Dude, since Trump, you could say anything about the president. They don't give a fuck. Remember, it used to be like... Remember how serious they used to take it? Where it's like, if you said, like, the president's gay, it's like, dude, stop, stop, stop. Shh, but but now it's phone, like... Cover your phone. You could, you could you, like... Kathy, Kathy Griffith, Griffin, whatever f fucking name is, she can hold up a picture of. Well, she can't. Her she hasn't been able to do much because of that. Yes, as a direct uh, response. I mean, people weren't really paying attention too much beforehand. At that point, I think her high, the highs in her career had mostly passed. You know, not I, to sound, not to be rude, but that's how I see it. I didn't like her since I was a kid because, as a big Christian, I remember my parents telling me about. She went up on stage to accept an award and, and someone was like, do you want to thank anyone? You know, thank like your parents, God. And you she's like, Satan. she said, fuck God. I did this myself. So ever since I was a little boy, I never liked that bitch. That's a good power statement. I like that. Fuck God. I did this myself. I mean, yeah, she did. As, she, as, she was as, very as successful. a woman in, in the world of comedy, it's, oh. it's very difficult oh, to work your way up. That so. time, at that time, specifically, especially too. Yeah. Or any time, really. And then she threw it all away with her little fucking Donald Trump joke, which scared the hell out of Baron Trump, you know? He was screaming in front of the television, throwing his Legos around. That was not cool, Kathy. To be fair, it, like, if anyone, if any one of my friends did that, I would have been, like, that was probably not the right call. Oh, especially. I think everyone's in agreement that what she did was kind of like, what's, it, what's the joke? It's just, it was just like, like we get what you're like, trying to say. I I despise Donald Trump myself, but the 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 decapitated head thing on on national TV, like it, it, it just, it just feels was too. Was it Twitter? Or was it national TV? Barron saw it, so I thought, I thought it, was it was a Twitter post. Oh, it might have been a Twitter post then. Regardless, oh, it was a Twitter post. You're right, but regardless, it's like uh, it just feels too try hard, like too edgy. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like where no one no one thought like. Her team was like, Kathy, maybe you shouldn't, you know, I, I get, I get no one, you know, like we don't like Donald Trump either, but you I know. mean, to be realistic, it's probably because her team was a bunch of idiots, but as she's working get, around a bunch a of, yes of publicity, people. she so, had this idea and nobody could say no. We're talking about it years later though. But at the same time, like you're right. We are talking about it years later and it's, it's, uh, it is a statement. It is a statement and it's, it, it'll, it's a very, uh, terrifying the president's autistic son is a statement <laughs> yeah. well i was just saying it, it's 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 a thing it's, it is it's, it's its own thing that exists now but what i'm wondering is but i think it's still like how far can you go still today like today in 2022 what can you say uh, like what what's the farthest you could push it before because you know the secret service will visit you if if you legitimately push it far enough you're gonna knock on your door from some 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 men in black or uh, like, what if I put a threat like on Biden right now? Like, what if I said something like, "If uh, you publicly on, on, yeah, like, like, what if I said, like, I will do everything within my power to make sure that I consensually will make Biden cheat on his wife, mm. and then I will publicly release it and cancel the president." <sighs> I think you'd probably have to say something more along the lines I'll release, of... I'll release the sex tapes. Mm, that might be... With her permission as well. With See, both of their permission. The reason they don't want that to be released, though, is because Biden's actually packing a hog in there, and they don't want people to know that because they, his people don't want him to be reelected. Okay. And they're like, if people know he's got a big cock, you'd have to probably say something more along the lines of, like, you'd be okay if MS-13 took the president in the back of, you know, out in the outback, the desert, you know, the boonies and cut his head off and pulled his heart out through his neck hole. Um, probably something like that. Okay, Kathy Griffin. Hey, I was giving you an example. I'm not being, I'm not trying to emulate Kathy Griffin over here. And I'm talking about President Biden, not President Trump, dumbass. I would never say something like that about Donald Trump. <laughs> our, our freedom fighter. You know, he fought in a war, psych. He, he dodged it. Didn't he say he... He did, but then no, he 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 had bone spurs. Oops! So stop stop saying he dodged it. He had a medical condition, <laughs> dumbass. Biden fought in the Vietnam War. 
He was out there in the fucking deltas shooting AK 47s. Yeah. And you see how he came back. <sighs> Good grief. You know, I, uh, I've, I've kind of wanted to go off to war myself. Yeah, it seems very peaceful and relaxing. Kind of like riding a bike. You know how you can lose uh, yourself in war. Mm. Dude, you and I would have had so much fun in Vietnam. Just walking around deserts in Vietnam. Oh, sorry. I was. Oh. I was. I was. We, I was. Had fun in Iraq. I would have expected. I was expecting you to say Iraq. Well, I'm just saying, like the most like brotherly time of war. Seemed I, like I, Vietnam. I, I wouldn't want to be in the Vietnam War at all, even with you. I don't want to be. But we'd, I, have, we'd have some fun. No, I don't want to fall well, in on. a hole and get like. Get 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 pierced by shit covered sticks and just be lying there. Not even for your fucking homeland. No, I'll get blown in half on the front lines. Hell, I'll I'll take an, an I'll take an arrow to the knee. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I think that's good. That's See, good. I had to do that because I know Matt just, he can't he help couldn't, himself. He, come on, man. <laughs> Jesus, man. It, it gets me. It's, it's, it's one, I think it's. I'm trying it, to talk about war and it's, stuff It's one here. of your favorite memes, it right? Is, it is my favorite meme. It, not one of, it is my favorite meme. You know, you know my weakness, man. Now, now, audience, don't take that information and, no, and, no. and abuse it. I'm not going to be able to stop laughing from, from here to kingdom come. Okay. So don't, <laughs> if don't. If fans start sending you that shit, that would be too much. Don't send me arrow to the meme knees. I mean, arrow to the knee memes. <laughs> Nice one, dumbass. I'm so kerfuffled just from you saying it once. But Vietnam would have been fun for you to, you and me. No, to, fuck yeah, dude, Vietnam. you and I would have been fucking. Fuck Vietnam. Fuck the country. Fuck the country. <laughs> Vietnam no, and the Vietnamese no, people. No, it's a. It, they have a rich no, culture, fuck the Ryan. Vietnam War. Spe Why? Because it sucked. Why are you acting like we fucking went and blew a bunch of shit up and lost? <laughs> we did. I've changed a lot from my first. I didn't use. Are I, you? Back from the first podcast, I know. Are you in as fifth a grade, dude? Twenty-seven year old. Now, as a twenty-seven year old, I do understand the <laughs> that, outcome of the Vietnam War. <laughs> yep, it's okay, dude. Wait, wait, that was in the first episode. That was of the in podcast, the first ever right? episode, yeah. And you didn't. Well, I. Well, to be fair, I just did. I say who won the Vietnam War, and you didn't know. Yes. Well, that I mean, that's nothing on you. I think that's more to, just to show the the American, the South Carolina education system. Well, they they never taught the Vietnam War as we lost. They kind of just avoided that part, like the ending. They kind of talked about how like it wrapped up, but they never were like, "Yeah, we lost." They and were it just didn't like, quite work out. They were like, "You know, we just pulled troops and uh, went home." <laughs> it's like they never yeah. they never really say what happened. I remember specifically what I always heard was that, in, at least in school, what I was taught was that we had a rough time out in Vietnam because it was it was terrain that we weren't used to. They were good at uh, using the environment against us and all that, and we had to pull out because of that. Yeah, I mean that's true, and that is a losing. There, that, there is was, a, that is what we did lose. Well, that was also the first war that like America stopped being behind because before it's like, yeah, go get them, and then Vietnam because because it was, it was the first, embarrassing, and it was the first war that people could actually see, like it was televised and they could see what's going on. And, you know, all their boys getting sent off and killed. And they're like, why are, what, why are we fighting this war? And it just keeps going on. And then you get all those fucking hippies yep. out, out on the, the, the front lawn of the White House. Spitting on our troops. Spitting on our fucking troops when they come home from war. Disgusting. With PTSD and, like, in shock. That does suck, Fuck honestly. Fuck you, baby killer. I get the, I do get the anti-war sentiment, but it also, I will say, it had to suck to be those guys that, like, basically There's some just got, people that are psychopaths in any military. Well, yeah, but I mean, a lot, I, I have a feeling a lot of the guys that went over to Vietnam were, was there a draft? There was a draft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, they were drafted. They didn't want to go over there, and they obviously didn't have a fun time over in Vietnam. Uh, you know, they probably Wait, was Vietnam with, a draft? Yeah. Okay. That's what Trump dodged. I mean, no, he didn't. He had bone spurs. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, I think if we could go back in time, you and me in Vietnam would have been some fun stories. <laughs> One of us, we would have both died. Who would have, I would have died first. You, you're good at hold, you're good at sticking out. I'd fucking first I'm bigger day, in mass. Those first, traps would have been set off quicker with me. You would have been like quick on your feet. The nets would have went. Who's going? The, uh, spear, the spears would go flying past. <laughs> the poison darts. <laughs> <laughs> 
the turrets, <laughs> and then fucking airstrikes like that are automatically sensed by the the That's trap the you thing. stepped on. We like carpet bombed them, and it just we did so much like brutal brutal shit. I mean, they like it's war. Everyone did brutal shit, but it's like we tried our damnedest to fuck that country up. And we had the res we had the resources they had none of. Oh yeah, we had. We're Napalm, flying we around in big helicopters and shit. I mean, they they knew the 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 Viet Cong like they. I mean, they know the jungle. They know how to you know. Welcome to the jungle. Yeah, it's all fun and games. We got everything you want. <coughs> <coughs> you know, yeah. that song's pretty good. ACD, no, not ACD. Pretty good. It's great. It's it's one of the best rock and roll songs I've ever made. By uh, it's not ACDC. It's Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses, and um, Vietnam actually. Uh, my my dad was just a little too young. He 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 would have he was actually in the army at the time, and uh, he there, would have gotten sent off if he was like two years older. There might not have been a Matt Watson. Nope, his parents fucked at just the right time to create him. If they had fucked a little bit sooner and conceived Dale Watson at a, a like fifty five maybe. So your dad must have had older like friends who were older than him that were drafted. Well, my dad didn't have any friends. <laughs> Um, no, but when my dad was in the military in Alaska, uh, at his, his draft date, was it 17 or 18? I want to say 17, but I feel like it's 18. It's 18 now. Picture yourself 17 or 18 being drafted to war. Like, well, well they made it well, out to be bad aspect then. Like people were like, oh, this is gonna be fucking awesome. Some people were, a lot of people knew it was a death sentence. A lot of it was like. Like in movies, it portrays it as like, I see this as like an honorable thing. Yeah. And then the mother's like, <laughs> Because they don't know if they're going to see I'd them see it again. as an honorable thing if I was going to fight for something that, like, genuinely I was... was Freedom. No. If I went to, like... <laughs> if, if, what? If, if, if we were going to, like, free, like, people that were enslaved or something, or... I kind of did that in World War II, without knowing, you know? Yeah. I mean, it wasn't our intention. Oh, hey, they got people over here in, in, in camps. Should we just let them out? Okay. Hey! <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, every... Like, it wasn't just America. Every, like... It was help from a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, Hitler was kind of gay, in my opinion. Yep. Um, that's my, that's just my two cents on it. But basically, like, if I got drafted to Vietnam back in the day, like, I told my dad this and he got really mad at me. I was like, I would have, I would have run. Like, I would have gone to Canada or something. What? And he was like, really, like, he was like, that's cowardly. That's I raised like, a pussy. I'm not going to go fucking kill people and be killed. Or if I survive, be fucked up and not enjoy my life for the rest of my life for some stupid you know like politician war that's dumb i'm not gonna i only have one life i'm not gonna use it for that you driving down like a desert road and then all of a sudden just like roll over uh what is it called like a like a mine an iud an iud iud that's what girls put in their pussy it's iud roadside bomb um what about a uti what's that uti yeah uh it's urinary tract infection nice that's not a device used in war do you have one of those a UTI? No. Hmm. Have you have you ever had a UTI? No. Can't say I have. I don't think I have either. Um, I'm trying you, to remember if you're there's supposed ever... to pee after sex to prevent that. If you don't pee after sex, you get a UTI pretty easy, especially women. So women, ladies, make sure you're spraying that piss out of your pussy when you're done getting getting that that that, that would mean I'd have to pee like ten times a day. Oh, I yeah. It's it's you know with all the honeys. Oh, there's honeys everywhere, man. All over the plex. There's always honeys. I mean, there's a couple of honeys in the living room right now, flicking the bean, thinking about Matt and Ryan. Hell, hell yeah. They're out there reading super mega safes of troops to each other and just coming, just squirting all over the carpet. Yeah. That's the one, hey man, that's, that's, that's one, that's one thing that spills on the carpet that I don't mind. Oh, shit. I just remembered. Sorry, this is great conversation and I'm enthralled, but have we updated people that Wanda's back or- <gasps> Or want or the mini want some other Wanda three maybe Wanda three maybe Wanda two who who knows which I one? haven't seen her yet but Ryan got in the office before me the other day and I he, saw her he texted she me was a here picture. earlier today as well yeah Wanda the dove that has come you want to go check right now just to see yeah let's go see okay. and we'll we'll get uh, some some ad reads while you guys can listen to ad reads while we check on Wanda and you guys can think about war and stuff like that and have a good time two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they're thirty five. More than 50 million men in the U.S. suffer from male pattern baldness. Well, that's okay, because we're here to talk about your experience with Keeps, Matt. But first, let me throw out some facts. 
Keeps offers a simple, affordable, and stress-free way to keep your hair via convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. Doesn't that sound great? You don't have to leave your home. They have 24-7 customer care and support. Keeps has a network of expert medical advisors, prescribers, and care specialists to support you in making your hair goals a reality. They also come at a low cost. Treatments start at just 10 bucks per month, and Keeps offers a generic version of the two FDA-approved medications to prevent hair loss. Keeps has everything your hair needs, delivered straight to your door with discreet packaging and proven results. Remember, prevention is key. Treatments can take four to six months to see results, so act fast. When it comes to your hair, save more and spend less. You know... My buddy Matt started having some problems with his hairline and it made me worry about my own. And he said he found this wonderful company called Keeps. And I have to say, his his hair is looking so healthy and spry lately that I that I went I have to get some of this myself. And now I also don't have the worry of 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 male pattern baldness. Oh no. And if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to K-E-E-P-S dot com slash super mega to receive your first month of treatment for free. Remember, that's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash super mega to get your first month free. Keeps dot com slash super mega. Go there or 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 be bald square. Is someone you love in a relationship with somebody who tells the same joke over and over? <laughs> Ryan? Or are they with somebody who has the audacity to starfish the bed? Now be honest. Is this somebody you? Relationships are not perfect. That's why MeUndies is celebrating our imperfectly perfect matches with their new Valentine's Day collection. My relationship with Ryan is the best friend relationship I could ever have in my life. And the way that we keep our friend relationship fresh, our, our straight male friend relationship fresh, is with brand new pairs of undies every single month that we like to show off to each other and have little dance parties in. Gifting underwear for Valentine's Day? Groundbreaking. But gifting matching underwear for you and your significant other? Now we're talking. Express your one-of-a-kind relationship when you match your bottom half to your better half and fun limited edition prints. If you're single, mingle in matching pairs with your friends or fam. You can even get dog hoodies or buddy bands to match your four-legged BFF. Be sure to check out all the MeUndies super cute and super soft undies, socks, bralettes, loungewear, Onesius, and more available sizes and extra small to 4XL. MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. For a limited time only, get 20% off your first order of matching pairs for Valentine's Day. And as a first-time purchaser, you can also get 15% off and free shipping right to your door. Ryan and I wear MeUndies literally every day. They're the softest undies in the world. So to get 20% off matching pairs and 15% off your first order, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. That's MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. All right, we're back. She's not out there currently. Nope. I haven't seen her. Only Ryan's seen her twice. But she, I mean, uh, she's back just to like early, really early. Usually it's like March or April she's back. But it's end of January and she's here. Just gonna, it's the last day of January right now. Oh, you look comfy. Oh, I'm so comfy right now. But she, uh, she, needs to, she needs to get her little ass back here and lay some eggs. I think she's coming back just to scope it out. Like, yep, this is where I'll do it. Yeah. And now she's out getting fucked right now by other, other doves to... Come back and lay some. I eggs. saw her. I, I I scared her off accidentally the first time I saw her. When you saw her, what'd you think? Like immediately, you're like, <gasps> yeah, I was so excited. Yeah, I was because she always comes back every year to lay eggs. This is what the third year. Mm -hmm. This is the third or fourth. Third, third, I think. Yeah, let me go find this picture real quick because uh, you. How long does it take to get fucked? You know. Yeah. Well, I don't know, but I, I'm assuming that as a as a as a are these are these dudes being choosy. Okay, got some choosy birds. Oh, she's here? cute, man. Yeah, this look. This one looks new. This right? looks like a. She looks young, and it's early. It's way. Usually, it's March, right? Like, like March, March or, or April. April. Yeah. I mean, the, she could come again, or she could be like taking a break here and then going some other way and then coming back again. She could just be coming back for old. Like maybe she just stopped in for some nostalgia. She's like, this is this is the house I grew up in, and she's back. But you know, uh, we'll keep you guys updated. That's one of my favorite reoccurring things about the Super Megaplex is is the the nest that Wanda and her family come to take over every year and make new baby doves. I just remember how fucking stupid they look. The babies that are sitting there I like almost stepped on one that one time. Oh yeah, <sighs> that was so close. It had fallen I, out of the I, nest. That would have that would have ruined my week. That 
Yeah, that I mean, that was I would have remembered the crunch just, and yep. like, oh, fuck me, dude. You would just keep thinking I was about so it. close. Well, so close because it had fallen out of the nest and had made its way over in front of the door. Yep. But we got it with who picked it up? You were Leighton. I think Leighton picked it up. So, OK, so it actually has been definitely less than a year because Leighton was working here already. Yeah. Uh, and we, we put him back in the nest. And then she came back and nur- nur- nurtured him. Bitch but came back the very, very next year. Yeah. It's Wanda. She comes back Bitch the very next year. Bitch came back. Thought she was a goner, but Wanda came back. What a disgusting song, man. She never stayed away. I don't know. Mm-hmm. What a disgusting song. Who was that? Uncle Cracker? <laughs> Huckleberry. Huckleberry? Are you, are you making names up or is that really? How did this? Buck Cherry? Oh, Buck Cherry. <laughs> it's not Buck Cherry. Buck Cherry has that song that's like, uh, my dick. Nope, that's no. not. <laughs> Buck Cherry has some very nice songs. Like, what song? Well, I'll look it up real tonight. quick. Uh, just, just look up the bitch came back. I don't think it's Buck Cherry. If it is, I'll fucking suck my it's own It's not ball. Buck Cherry. I'm thinking of Crazy Bitch. Theory right? of a Dead Man. Bitch came, yeah. Oh, the bitch came back, thought she was a goner, but the bitch came back. Yep, I was thinking of uh, the other bitch song. What other bitch song? The one crazy bitch, but you fuck so good. That's 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 fuck. Oh, the one they wrote about your mom? No, come on. Or that's come on, man. Give me something for that. No, no. Just give me a little something. Yeah, for that. Buck Cherry did crazy bitch. Really? Yeah. I thought Buck Cherry was more pure. But you fuck so good. I'm on top of it when I dream. I'm doing you all night. Scratches all down my back to keep you right on. <laughs> Stop, man. You're always getting me with that. You know? I can't help myself. Yeah, no, I, you, you can't, and I, I like it. Hey, buddy. Yeah. When's the last time you were on the Epic SMP? Uh, Friday. Uh, Saturday, I was busy all day. Uh, I was helping a friend set up for a party. When you getting on next, huh? Sunday, uh, yesterday, Sunday, uh, slept until about noon, and then I went out to get some food in Monterey Park. Enjoy your day, of course. I enjoy my day. Uh, today is Monday, January 31st, 2022. And uh, I would like to, I, Trevor's coming tonight, so I need to focus on getting my place ready because it's a little messy right now. Uh, but I would like to try to get on at some point. Maybe when Trevor gets in, we'll get on together oh, on really? my, on like my stream. If That'll not, I'll, I'll be doing it tomorrow after our guest leaves. Oh, he's, not, he's not here for long. No, he's here all day from 6 a.m. until 9 p.m. And then he just goes back? I thought I was here for a couple days. No, he's, he's here. He's here tomorrow. And then, well, we're going to see him again on Friday, right? No, but like he's here here for a bit. LA? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we could, we so could. Why is he only staying with you for a day? Oh, Trevor? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Tre- Trevor's here until the day after my birthday. <laughs> Who are we talking about? I thought we were talking about uh, uh, next week's guest on the podcast. Oh, no. I, I, th- I was talking about, I thought we were still talking about Trevor. We I were. So I don't confused. know where I got confused. I got because you said like he's only staying for a day, and I was like, T- "Trevor's only staying for a day." Uh, every, everyone's well. Here's a hint for next week's guest. Hey, Ryan, uh, j- jump down and say some gay shit. I'm gay. Hey, that's a, that's a good hint. It's a great hint. It's a great hint for 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 next week's guest. Um, but you know what, man? I'm gonna tell you something. You need to tell me something. Is it something important? No, no, I'll tell you after the podcast. What? It's, it's, I'm gay. Um, but you know, going back to the Vietnam War real quick, there's <sighs> always um, about the Vietnam War with it's you. Always about the fucking Vietnam. This guy <laughs> just can't stop talking about. It. There is a uh, movie that is coming out. I don't know when. I think it probably got pushed because of COVID. But okay, I got my phone out. I'm ready to look it up. My, it, 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 it's my my favorite book I read in high school. Mm-hmm. An incredible book. It's it's these memoirs from the Vietnam War. You, you told me about this. The book things before. they carried. Yes. Okay. Please. I want to read. I, I every time I want to read it, but like I have it if you want to borrow it. It's so good. You you would really like it. I want to read it's it. It's just a bunch of stories. I just from never this get guys. a link for it, so I'm like, we talk about it, and then I. I'll don't. bring you the book. Okay. I got a I got a cover. I got a copy that's like from an old library. It's called memoirs. Or? It's called the uh, the things they carried. Oh, sorry. Uh, but the movie rendition uh, has a uh, Pete Davidson as well. Tom one of Hardy. Yeah, Tom Hardy, Pete Davidson, and I'm just wondering when that's coming out. Pete I think Davidson Pete Davidson might be shit? okay in that role, actually, though, because yeah. like playing like a dude in the Vietnam War, like a like if a, he plays an asshole, Pete Davidson. 
If Pete Davidson he plays has AIDS, like a man, relax. What? He has AIDS. Don't go so hard on him. <laughs> no, but like if he plays an asshole, Ty plays like I guess a silent type. Bill will play kind of like a. Let me look at the cast. A, a scared person. It's and a good Tom Hardy book, will be the main character. Who is the, who is the the main character? I don't know. I mean, Tom Hardy's in. It. I would is suspect Jay Baruchel him. on that, or did I? Am I just confusing that with Tropic Thunder? What? Is Jay Baruchel in this no, movie? No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, Ty Sheridan, Angus Cloud. Who's Angus Cloud? Tom Hardy, Pete Davidson, Bill Skarsgård, Bill Skarsgård uh, dude, Ashton dude, Sanders, Pennywise. Yeah, dude. Pennywise, clown smile. He's good, dude. They're no, gonna... I just don't know. How do you do that smile? Okay, show, show the audience. <laughs> show everyone. They're gonna be in like the fucking bush, like down low in the bush with their guns, and he's gonna be like, dude, do the smile. <laughs> oh, uh, the guy that played Sharon. And uh, teenage Sharon in Moonlight is a, is one of the characters in it. You know, Matt. Since we're since we're talking about movies, I kind of I want to bring this up. When does this come out, though? I want to I want to I want to talk about it a little bit. I want to talk about Chicken uh, Chicken Run: Dawn of the Nugget, set for a 2023 release. Whoa! I had to beep that. What? <laughs> Chicken Run: <laughs> Dawn of the Nugget. Ryan, <laughs> come on, man! You can't be saying that shit. <laughs> the fuck off. <laughs> Okay, yeah, Chicken Run, Dawn of the Nugget. Uh, <laughs> it's not Chicken Run 2, it's Dawn of the Nugget. What is, uh, is, is it still stop motion? Or are they yeah, doing like 3D? Yeah, it's still stop motion, I believe. Um, and it uses a few of the past voice actors, uh, but a major kind of unfortunate thing is, you know, fuck Mel Gibson, you know, I can understand why they wouldn't want him Wait, what? to reprise his role. Mel Gibson was in Chicken Run? Yeah. I haven't seen that movie in like over 10, 15 years, some shit like that. So I really don't remember who was in it, but he I, I didn't Ro know. He played Rocky, the rooster, Not the, the stunt rooster. He played rooster. Rocky? Yeah. Mel Gibson was, was Mel in Gibson. Rocky. And Julia Sawala, I can't pronounce her name. She voiced uh, Ginger. She's the main character, but they replaced her voice actress. And why I don't understand. Do that? And I don't understand why. She sounds fine. There's She's like recordings of her trying out lines like now. Was, was like, she still available for the role? Yes. Like, did, she she was confused of why oh, she wasn't like... So she didn't turn it down or anything? No. I don't know. Why did they do that? I don't know. They got Thandie Newton in there now, which... Just... Is it... They're around the same age. It's not like an age thing, I would... I don't know. Maybe it's a name thing, like a recognition. It, it's always about that. Weird. Yeah, but some of the other, act, you know, actors that were in it are still in it. You know, dude, of the like side characters, the side hens. Oh, yeah. The side hens, baby. Hey, hey, Ryan, if a rooster lays an egg perfectly on the top of a roof, which way does it roll? Left or right? Roosters don't lay eggs. That's right. Brother, man, you're you're a smart little cookie. You know that? You're a I feel like that's a brain teaser for like a, a, someone in elementary school. It is. It is. <laughs> OK, here's the 90 best riddles for kids that aren't too confusing. You think we'll be able to? Oh, uh, no. So you have the answers in front of you, though. I know. I'm not looking. I'm like, I'm only scrolling up enough to see the riddle. Okay. What begins with T, finishes with T, and has T in it? So I'm not seeing the answer either. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, what begins with T, ends with T, and has T in it? T, like the drink? Oh, a teapot. Okay. Okay. You bought me for dinner, but never eat me. What am I? A, a plate? Cutlery. Okay, I mean, I, you don't buy those at dinner. You buy them for dinner. Uh, you don't buy. Wait. Oh, like I, 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 I pictured it like going out for some reason. Ryan, if you took two apples from a pile of three apples, how many apples would you have? If I took two apples from a pile of from three a apples. Pile of three apples. Uh -huh. If I take, if there are three apples and I take two apples away from that, how many, what's the question? If you took two apples from a pile of three apples, how many apples would you have? I would have two. The one apple you took. All right, that one doesn't make sense to me either. I would have two apples. Wait. No, it says the one apple you took. Well, how does that make sense? If you took two Wait, apples... Say it, say it again, say it again. If you took two apples from a pile of three apples, how many apples would you have? And they said the one apple you took. If you took two apples... Should we... Should we uh, that doesn't make sense. Should we call Jackson, see if he can do it? 
I mean, he has a college degree. Yeah, maybe. He double majored in like HR and international business. Should I, should I call him or should I yell for him? Jackson! Jackson! This motherfucker. Call him, dude. I feel like he has a degree. Hey, so. what kind of vegetables are the most fun at parties? Come on, man. Fun guy. Hey, what's the richest nut? <laughs> you don't want to answer? I hear him moving stuff around in the other room. Come on. He's blowing you off, man. This he's is fucking with you, man. He's, to oh. he's totally he's totally fucking with you, dude. He he has no respect for you. Okay, okay, okay. Jackson's here. Jackson's here. Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna Jackson, why are you wearing no shoes in the Jackson, office? Man? Here's, here's the mic. Why are you barefoot? You wear shoes inside? Disgusting. <sighs> So you're gonna have to bend down a little bit, or hey, not nothing, nothing. He's not used perfect. to. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome, welcome on the Super Megacast, Jackson. It's been a hot minute since we had you. We got to I do know. an episode with you soon. It's been a while since we've just done a Jackson episode. You have to say this counts as it. Yeah, then, featuring yeah. Jackson Tucker. Um, I'll get Don on the thumbnail. We so, want to see if one you can solve this, and then if not, or if you can, either way makes sense of it for us. Because we, the, it's, 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 it's a list of 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 riddles the, that the, the horse's name was Friday. Fuck. You got it. Uh, it's the 90 best riddles for kids that aren't too confusing. Best riddles for babies. All right, for kids. So we went down. Uh, <laughs> okay. Th this is number three. If you took two apples from a pile of three apples, how many apples would you have? Do I own the pile of apples I took them from? I don't know. Just I'm going to say two. The answer is the one apple you took. How does that make sense? I If you took two apples from a pile of three apples, how many apples would you have? And the answer is the one apple you took. Right? It doesn't make sense. How does that make any fucking sense? Can you, can, Listen, can you I... It now? Going to college, I have a different understanding for these kind of things than you guys might. Okay. It, it, the one apple makes sense, but... I, I, how? I don't have time to explain it to you no, guys. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, Jackson, you put that degree to use, man. You paid so much money for it. You I'd might as well put it to it. use. I loved, I'd love to hear So it. if there's two apples. Yeah. There's three might, apples. You might think that, well, yes, but you take two. Right. I took two if, apples. If I'm very hungry, I might eat one of those apples right when I take them. And then I'm left with only one apple. You didn't say anything about Nothing about apple. the only context it, it makes is if no you fucking took two apples. Okay. <laughs> it, literally, it makes no if it, you it's took, a typo. If you took two apples from a pile of three apples, how many apples would you have? Answer the one apple you took. That doesn't make any fucking sense. I got I, I'm I gonna, feel like they combined it with like people who answer one and then the two that you took. I'm gonna I'm gonna search typo. this online and see if I is can Is it a book? No, it's a website. Ugh, I was hoping there's a book so we could write into like the publishing company. <laughs> uh if you took, if you take two apples away from three apples, you have one left. <laughs> yeah, you have one left, but they, they said the, there's one left. But then you that makes sense. Like if it said how many two. apples are left, well, that's what I'm saying. But I this think says they how many apples would you answers, have? Obviously, if you took two apples, how many apples would you have? The, or it, even if it said how many apples are there, you took it would two say apples. It'd still be three. Well, exactly. You like, didn't take one there's apple. There's a bunch of different answers you can get depending on how you word it. But, but even the, but the, their answer doesn't make any sense. The wording, the two, the one apple you took that you didn't take, or the one apple you took. Dude, these I feel suck. like I read this website just wrote this just to fuck with people. These uh, uh, Jackson, answer riddle me this. Uh, what is the richest Batman. nut? What? What is the richest nut? These. <laughs> Put it there, man. Uh, That's it's, the it's, real it's, answer. Uh, it's, it's Mr. Peanut. It's a uh, a cashew. No, it's Mr. Peanut. He is, he is, he's yeah, a rich He has nut. the monocle, the hat. Oh, he's rich as fuck. <laughs> well, uh, he died, so I guess his baby peanut got the, in the will. they fucking killed him, dude. They fucking killed him. Why did they do that? They took him out to an alley and shot him. <laughs> <laughs> took him out around back and shotgunned him in the back yeah, of his shell. Like a few weeks. But then they didn't, did they ever bring back Mr. Peanut? What happened Mr. to peanut? Baby Nut? No, some, no, Baby Nut became a teenager, and I guess they just turned him into an adult at some point. Something happened with COVID where they're like, yeah, we should probably hurry this stuff up. This is too depressing. Why did they, like, why? That, that's such a, uh, such a funny story. Line. Suicide rates skyrocketed after they killed Mr. Peanut during COVID. They had, like had to, they just had to. Car crash too, which was the best thing. It was just like. Didn't, didn't, didn't he fall to his death? I thought he was in a car. It, I was off a cliff. Like, I thought the car fell off a cliff. Like, like maybe he just fell. They killed Mr. Peanut in like a really, like, uh, Mrs. Butterworth way. pushed him over the edge. And then they had to get rid of her ass. Mm -hmm. No, wait, she's still around. They had to get rid of uh, Aunt Jemima. No, they got rid of, oh, yeah. Buttersworth is still here. Yeah. Aunt Jemima's the one that they, uh, they canceled. They killed her. Wow, really? So but they we finally have the name's some, racist. We're gonna kill Aunt Jemima. We finally have some. Make that one make sense. We we have we have black female representation finally, and they have to get mm -hmm. rid of it. 
explain that to me. Listen, Matt, I, uh, I support you 100% in this uh, vendetta to get back Mrs. Butterworth. It's, she, no, Sorry, she's Aunt Jemima. Aunt Jemima. And tell me this, Jackson, what kind of beer won't get you drunk? Mm, this one's well, actually pretty easy. Alcohol-free beer. That is correct. Ah, it's the answer was root beer, but alcohol free beer is more of a correct answer. I yeah. Think. Well, what can I say? Um, they didn't expect a mixologist to come in here. Yeah, did they, they? they had no idea there was gonna be a guy damn was bartender up in here. All right, give me another. I'm I'm liking these. Hey, Ryan, see if you can get this one for Jackson. What kind of poultry is always going? To, oh, <laughs> this one's funny. It's kind of it's kind of sexist. What kind of <laughs> what kind of poultry Love is it. always going to the bathroom? Hey, a chick. Chick peas. What? That's what Why it, not just a chick? <laughs> a chick is such a better answer for Girls that. Girls always be going to the bathroom. Chick, <laughs> Women do be peeing. Hey, why did the citrus tree go to the hospital? To get to the other... No. <laughs> <laughs> to get his COVID booster. A COVID. I, com I combined COVID and vaccine to COVID. COVID. What, why? Weren't you glad he didn't... Die? I don't know. Women aid. <laughs> he had lemon aids. That's why he went to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> he had, he had lemon no, AIDS. it just says lemon aid. <laughs> what? He went to go get lemon aid. Like That's stupid. That's dumb. You cut me, slice me, dice me, and all the while you cry. What am I? Onion. That's the yep. Uh, that's like not even a pun. That one was good. Hey, yeah. what kind of apple? Sound like a song. What kind of apples do computers prefer? Wait, what? Macintosh. That's right. <laughs> hey, what has many ears but cannot hear? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, does corn have ears? Yes, yeah, corn, okay. yeah. I was like, it's oh, a corn I was or potato. Corn. Yeah. Well, thank you, Jackson, for helping us solve that. Yeah, thank you. It was I an easy one. Didn't solve it because, well, Can it people was... in the comments explain this one, please, on YouTube? I think they're wrong. I think they're wrong, too. But if, if maybe there's some... I mean, there's, there's people that listen that are like neurologists. So... I thought you were about to say divergent. I, I thought you was going to say that, too. I was like... Well, that's back everyone back. listening. But yeah, there there are like. Recording. Hey, come on, Jackson. Get whoa. Uh, what did? Oh, that one's too easy. I'm a bird, a person, and a fruit. What am I? This is easy. Robin. No, red there's robin. No fruit called Robin. Robin. Robin apples. What? <laughs> robin apples. It's a kiwi. <laughs> Whose name is Kiwi? There's a Kiwi bird, Kiwi fruit, and then Kiwi means someone from New Zealand. Oh. They called New Zealanders Kiwis. I don't know why. Uh, Yum. Red Robins. Dude, I'm... Oh, you said food, not fruit. I'm red or green and grow on a vine. I'm dried to make raisins and squeezed to make wine. What am I? Say that again. I'm red or green and grow on a vine. I'm Just grapes? Yeah. So why? So they... I don't understand this. Like that, some of them are just like that's just a question. Yeah, that's not even a riddle. That's just what like, do I make wine with? Like what's wine made out of? Grapes. What, what are raisins made out of? <laughs> when I'm ripe, I'm green. When you eat me, I'm red. And when you spit me out, I'm black. What am I? I actually I don't know. A watermelon. Oh, I'm trying to see if I can find a good one for you. If two's a company and three's a crowd, what are four and five? Bigger numbers. No. Nine. Nice. Yeah. Get it? After a train crashed, every single person died. Who survived? Sit one more time. After a train crashed, every single person died. Who survived? No one. Mm -mm. All the couples. <laughs> every single person oh, died. Oh, okay. That's pretty, that one's pretty good. That one, that one is pretty good. You know, I, I, I got to give him props on that one. I just don't understand that Apple one still. Yeah, that Apple one is a is a big miss. Dude, some of these it are flew over my brain. It flew, he had a he has a college degree flew over his. Yeah, we dropped out of college. So maybe, you know, we're YouTubers. It might make sense. Who's the smartest person we know? Brian Wecht. He has a Ph.D. in fucking relative strength physics theory shit. Would he would he answer this question for you? You want to ask him if you called him? He or? has a PhD in fucking uh, theoretical physics, I think. Well, I have a PhD in horribleness. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, <laughs> after this, after these ad breaks, we're going to call Ninja Brian. 
and he might answer. We'll see. See ya. Let me ask you fellas something. How did you choose which internet service provider to use? The sad thing is, most of us have very little choice because ISPs operate like monopolies in the regions they serve. They use this monopoly power to take advantage of customers, like you. Data caps, streaming throttles, the list goes on. But worst of all, many ISPs log your internet activity and sell that data to other big tech companies or advertisers. To prevent ISPs from seeing my internet activity, I protect all my devices with ExpressVPN. So what is ExpressVPN? Well, it's a simple app for your computer, smartphone, tablet, whatever, that encrypts all your network data and tunnels it through a secure VPN server so that your ISP cannot see any of your online activity. Ooh. Just think about how much of your life is on the internet. Sadly, the list of people you've messaged, sites you've visited, and videos you've watched gets tracked by tech giants who can sell your information for profit. Pretty scary, huh? Very scary. That's the reason we recommend ExpressVPN as the best way to hide your online activity from your ISP. You just download the app, tap one button on your device, and you're protected. I have ExpressVPN on my router at home, so it protects any device that's connected to my internet. Uh, don't have to worry about those big tech companies uh, coming, and, coming and looking at what videos I'm watching, taking my information, selling it to third parties, and I can also watch like Netflix in other countries, because uh, I can just basically set myself to another country. And ExpressVPN does all of this without slowing your connection at all. That's why it's rated the number one VPN service by Business Insider and The Verge. So stop handling over so stop handing over your personal data to ISPs and other tech giants who mine your activity and sell off your information. Protect yourself with the VPN Ryan and Matthew trust to keep our online stuff private. Visit expressvpn.com slash supermega. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash supermega to get three extra months for free. Go to expressvpn.com slash supermega right now to learn more. Do you not want to spend time in a grocery store line or hunched over a stove? Do you not even have a meal plan or prep? Well, then you know that just leaves Factor to help you out. Factor makes it easy for me to eat clean 24-7 with fresh, never frozen, prepared meals that are so delicious you wouldn't believe they're actually good for you. Factor saves me time by delivering chef-crafted meals to my doorstep, eliminating the hassle of grocery shopping and meal prep, not to mention cleanup. No dishes to wash here. And I, just like Matt, you know, Matt stated in the last one that he hated washing dishes. I hate and, it still. And I, I still hate it. It sucks. I hate washing dishes. So, you know... This helps get that little in inconvenience out of the way sometimes. Each Factor meal arrives pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes. That's even faster than ordering it. Factor tackles the tough stuff, so I don't have to. Their registered dietitians and expert chefs work hand-in-hand -hand to create meals with nutritious ingredients. And with more than 27 meal options each week, I'm never bored. Factor even knows my preferences. They offer vegan plus veggie meals, cold-pressed juices, smoothies, energy bites, plant-based bars, extra protein, veggie sides, and more to keep me fueled and focused all day long. It's Factor's great. I, I get all this delicious food that helps empower my body to 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 do well when I'm when I'm running laps and when I'm when I'm jumping up and down the basketball court with with my bros. Ah, I love playing some b-ball. Head to go.factor75.com slash super120 and use code super120 to get $120 off. That's code super120 at go.factor75.com slash super120. Woo! Hey guys, we're going to call inward Brian. Um, Ninja Brian. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Because uh, he's the smartest person we probably know. He actually one time asked me to join this. I saw him doing this like puzzle website where it's like trivia each day. And I was like, oh, that looks like a lot of fun. I want to play that. And he's like, okay, I can invite you. It's invite only. But like, you have to take it seriously because like it, it like reflects on me. Because it's like this thing that like college professors do. And it's oh, this. Oh, shit. So he added me to it and I fucked it up, dude. Oh, it, no. This is the hardest fucking questions I've ever done in my life. I was like, oh, why did I think I could do this? It'll be like, the question will be about like. Does it tell other people what you said? I think, I think it did. And it just shows my score. And I'm like, oh, geez. It, it was, it was bad. But, um, <laughs> Siri, call inward Brian. Hold on. Siri, call inward Brian. Calling inward Brian. Mobile. I gotta get to the bottom of this Apple riddle. Yeah. This is stupid as fuck, man. 
And he's going to be a big help. Yeah. Because he, he's older, wiser, learned. He's had a vasectomy. Has he? So he's not thinking about... Yeah. Oh, what's up, Brian? What's going on, man? Not much, man. Not much. Uh, I'm here with Ryan. We're on our podcast at the moment. Hey, Brian. Hi, Ryan. Say hi. I did. I I said hi first. He oh, was responding to I'm my sorry. hi. I'm sorry. Well, way ahead of you. we have a we have a riddle that w- is is from a list titled uh, "The 90 Best Riddles for Kids That Aren't Too Confusing," and this stumped us. Uh, and you're the, we were trying to we're like, who's the smartest person we know? And we're like, Brian. He has a PhD in like food commerce or something. And so. maybe it is bullshit. We're trying to figure out if it is bullshit. What, what the, the answer or my degree? The answer. Okay, got it. Okay. Ready, ready, Brian? Yes. If you took two apples from a pile of three apples, how many apples would you have? Well, I'm going to say two. Right. you took two apples. Exactly. And it's asking how many you have. And you took two, which means you have them. The answer is the one apple you took. What? Yeah. No, no, no. Riddle. If it's you, number three. If you took two apples from a pile of three apples, how many apples would you have? Answer, the one apple you took. That doesn't make any that's, fucking sense. That's, com- that's complete bullshit. Okay, we're just making sure that we're not, like, missing something obvious. Because we had Jackson come in here, and, you know, he has a double major, like, college degree. And yeah, he, he couldn't cool. figure it out. So, you know, we're like, let's call the guy with the PhD. What's it? What's it? What's it in? Uh, re, uh, theoretical physics. Industrial relations. Oh, OK. I don't know how I confuse those two, but uh, <laughs> yeah, OK. I was just and, and now think about it. Do you do you want do, can you think of how this could make sense? Maybe. The what, what, say, say it again. It's the one you have. If you took two apples from a pile of three apples, how many apples would you have? And the answer is the one apple you took. It says you took two apples. Wait, have like in have? Nope. The only thing I can think of is they, they left like in the half? word left. You know what I mean? Like it would be how many apples would you have left, and they just screwed it up. Uh, that's what I'm thinking because some of the other ones are as easy as like I grow on a vine and I'm purple, and it's like. But grapes. then that's not a riddle. That's a math question. It's just a question. Yeah, this is this isn't even a riddle, man. This is, yeah, Audrey would be able to get this one right. Yeah, I I don't understand this. Not. A hard, this is not a hard uh, question, unless you guys found it hard. But it's uh, the answer, as stated, is complete bullshit. Yeah, good. thank you, thank good, you. Good. good. Now, now we have we have a source. We we have an intelligent intellectual uh, that has confirmed it. So we're smart. I'll I'll, I'll end the before I end the call, uh, Brian. I'll I'll give you I'll give you one one brand new riddle we haven't done yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, great. Yes, yeah. Challenge me. Really make me uh, work for it. <clears throat> um, what? What answer can you never answer to? Or no, sorry, I, I fucked that up. What answer can you never answer yes to? I think it means to say what question. This list is fucked, I think. What question can you never answer yes to? What question can you never answer yes to? Let's see. Is, uh, can you not answer this question? Un- unfortunately, Brian, the answer was, are you asleep yet? You can you can answer with no. I was going for. Oh, I get it. Yeah, you can't answer yes. It makes sense. Yeah. Well, that this list is stupid. So, yeah, what's your source on these? Is this just something on the internet, or did you buy a book? No, it's on Fatherly.com, and and it's it's titled "The 90 Best Riddles for Kids That Aren't Too Confusing." Riddles aren't just for Batman villains or weirdos. Literally all kids love riddles. Here's a bunch that are perfect for kids, but hard enough to still be fun. Because you guys know all those Batman villains that love riddles? All of those villains? Yeah. Just the one? Yeah. And also, also, it says liter- literally all kids love riddles. That's, that's objective. Well, they like riddles when the answers aren't complete bullshit. Exactly. Exactly. Well, thank... Uh, Thank you for that, man. Can, so we, can, I, can I tell you a, a, a riddle, a joke I wrote for Audrey? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'd love to. We'd love to hear it. All right. What's green and strong? The Hulk. I mean, that's one answer, yes, but I'm looking for something different. Okay. Spinach. No. Muscle sprouts. Muscle sprouts. Oh. That's good. That's good. I was thinking Popeye okay. for some reason. I, I was thinking yeah, of the Jolly right. Green Giant. But the Hulk works. Yeah, see, the Hulk definitely, you're not wrong about that. I'm not saying you're wrong. Okay, good. 
Well, that that's pretty funny. I like that one. Thank you. That's what I was going That's, that's really good. Mussel sprouts. It makes me think of this dish my mother used to cook where it was just raw mussels and uh, Brussels sprouts and it was delicious. That, that actually sounds pretty great. Yeah, it's great. It's fantastic. I'll have to cook it for you sometime. But thank you so much for uh, helping us out with that one. And uh, I, I we, we wish you nothing but the best from here at Super Mega Productions Incorporated. And I uh, hope you have a great day. Yeah, same to you guys. All the success in the world. Thank, thank you. you. All of it? All of it. Damn. It. Thanks, so Ryan. Kind. Thanks, man. Have a great day. You too, bud. Bye. What a nice guy. I you know? know. So it is bullshit. It's completely. bullshit. Okay. Yeah. That like that doesn't make any sense to me. Like this this apple riddle just is apps. Well, I think that they're just stupid. I think they're fucking stupid because I read that next. I just found a random one and it had a typo in it too. It was what answer can you never answer no to? It's like I think it's what question can yeah. you never answer? It's you know, it's stupid. It's it, it's fucking stupid, dude. But like who can like someone had to make it. And I searched the riddle online. It too. wasn't like made by a bot. No, like it's, someone it's, made it. You that know what? Website. I'll tell you who made it. It's an article, which means there's a writer. What it says by fatherly. That's the website. Do they not give a writer's credit? You're telling me a damn website wrote this. <laughs> you tell me a shrimp is, fried this rice. <laughs> you go to about on fatherly. Is it like a blog run by like one person? <sighs> We're about to find out, dude. What the hell is this website? What is this Squarespace bullshit? Parenting. They have parenting advice about us. Here. It's loading. Yeah. Mm. Fatherly is the leading digital media brand for dads. Our mission is to empower men to raise great kids and lead more fulfilling adult lives. From original video series and deep dive reports to podcasts and events, Fatherly offers original reporting, expert parenting advice, and hard-won insights into a challenging but profoundly rewarding stage of life. Hell yeah. Okay, so it's... uh, No names attached at all? Staff bios. Here we go. Dude, this dude has a fucking Dungeons and Dragons name. Ty? His name is Ty, but it's spelled T-Y-G-H-E. Ty Trimble. Man, Ty Trimble, I bet he I bet he wrote that. Matt Barrickle, Amy Carafin, Carafin. And why do women work for a father website? That's on un, that's unbelievable. They're not fathers. No, they're not fathers, and they never will be. <laughs> when do babies drop to one nap? There's nothing funny about scaring kids with Instagram filters. Why not? Okay, uh, well, I'm about to tell you. Parents are using social filters to frighten kids and make them cry. It's not cool. A new TikTok trend is causing toddlers to freak out as they watch their parents' their parents' faces morph into horses. Parents are filming their children's reaction to observing the transformation as it happens in real time on a phone screen and posting the videos for social clout. The children's reactions are often extreme, including frightened to tears. It's an odd form of entertainment, if that's even the right word. A better word would be traumatic. I mean, it is horrifying because a kid actually in that moment sees that and then imagine you know how your imagination would just run wild as a kid yeah yeah for sure oh Um, well yeah who cares man i just think it's funny yeah no i scare them kids i got scared as a kid i'm fine you should tell your kids that you ate all their halloween candy and film it (laughs) it's all gone now stupid cunt my least favorite video of the uh, one sorry not my but one of my least favorite videos to watch is the one where this girl has like a pet bug that are in her stupid Oh, aunt. the dragonfly. Yeah, the dragonfly. That guy's a sociopath. That guy's a psychopath, dude. Oh yeah. I found the rest of his I found his YouTube channel once. He has the look in his face that is like legit like this man is psycho. Like he looks crazy. The video we're talking about though is is he has a dragonfly landing like that's on his tongue and his little niece is like Is that her pet or is that just like it's she likes bugs? She found it and it's like her pet and okay. she's and then he just starts eating it with a creepy smile on his face. And she's crying. He's like chewing it with his like teeth showing. Yeah. But I found his channel and he does, he did like pickup videos where he like walks up to women on the street at night trying to like, like there's one where it's like a girl crying on the sidewalk. He's like, what's wrong, sweetheart? Can I help you? It's like just the most, like if you're a guy that films himself picking up women, there's some good pickup channels. Is we, it just kind of like, I'm edgy. No, the pickup stuff. I'm was, doing was, what people can't was real. Will, will will not do. Well, I know it's real, but like, is he doing it in I a sense know. of like 
this person's crying. I'm gonna. It's funny. The guy is fucking that, that psycho. I would go up to her because she's crying. Man eats dragonfly. Man, don't put that on. No, I'm not putting it on. Guy eats dragonfly and kids freak out by Ricardo TV. Yeah. Uh. It fucking. I think it. I think it's posted to r slash rage. Yeah, there it is on r slash rage. That's fucked up. His response to the dragonfly situation. Oh, he has a response. Oh shit! I wanna. I wanna know. I wanna know. I didn't know he had a response. Oh, he has it on private now. What? But somebody said he doesn't even understand why a lot of people think it was shitty. It's not cruelty to the dragonfly, you moron. It's that you killed your niece's pet in front of her and thought it was hilarious to make a small girl cry. Dick. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't care. Like, the dragonflies, what, people eat bugs all the time. Like, all all animals eat bugs. But it's the fact... <laughs> he looks really scary in that. Did he, he looks really like a puppet. Did he really think that it was, like... I'm sure some people are upset of the cruelty of the animal, but I don't know. He ate it. It was used for something. He got nourishment. Yeah. My thing is that what he did was also an act of cruelty to his niece. Well, it's just fucking weird. It's just like... I, like, who, who would think that that's okay? Well, like, like no one's going to be sitting around him and, like, bust out laughing. Like, oh my god, dude, you're crazy. It's, it's like, imagine, like, if, you're, if your niece or nephew brings you, like... Like a, a a small little crab they found. All of a sudden you're like, oh, that's cool. You throw it on the floor and like step on it. And you hear the crunch. And you're like, oh, 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 oh And then you post oh, the video. You post the video. Yeah. Because like, this is funny. Yeah, that guy's got something wrong with him. He's got, he's got, he's creepy. He's really creepy. I'm going to go out on the record and say, Ricardo TV. Oh, is, care, is a, careful being out on that record, brother. <laughs> it spins. Dude. Ooh, oh. Might get dizzy. He might come. He might come. Eat my dragonfly. You know what I'm saying? Hey, do, Ricardo do, TV, I challenge you to come eat my dragonfly. Do you want to end it with that joke? End it with that? Do you want to end it with that joke? Okay. What, what, with, with the record spin or the eat my dragonfly this, joke? This is yours, the eat my dragonfly joke. Is that really how you want to end the podcast? No, I don't want to end it like that. Okay. I didn't know it was ending right then. Well, it's not ending right then, but we're getting close well, to the end. Do you want to talk about buddy. the Vietnam War some more? I don't want to talk about the Vietnam okay. War. Well, why? Because... People it's, died by falling on yeah, sticks covered in poop. Of course people died falling on sticks covered by poop. But like, I think that's why it's worth talking about. These, these heroes. It sounds, it's just miserable. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you're uncomfortable by, by people. I'm not uncomfortable. Their lives I would just rather freedom. not. I, I, I don't want to think about a situation where everyone is suffering. Except for, uh, the, ho uh, sorry, not the, the, uh, the, not Hollywood elites. The government elites, the politicians. politicians. You know what, Ryan? I think it speaks volumes that you yeah. won't even acknowledge the freedom fighters in the Vietnam War. I acknowledge them. It sucks that they had to go through it. They, a lot of them also <laughs> did some shitty stuff, though. Yeah, they did. That's not a pun on them being skewered with sticks covered in poop, though. The the worst of human nature comes out when when you set a bunch of testosterone filled dudes out in the middle of a jungle with guns and you can kill anyone you want with and no consequences. They're not even allowed to have sex with each other? The men? Yeah. Yeah. I bet some freaky gay sex happened in the Vietnam War. I hope so. Out in like the pluff mud. That's the, that's the only positive thing that could have been that could have been done under that under that situation. Yeah, honestly like if, I, if I was there it's like pipe. I'm having gay sex. That's all I can do <sighs> to stay sane. I just need to Oh man, I just <laughs> that 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 battle at Trenong earlier was really fucking traumatic. Can you fuck me in the ass, man? Dude, I need to stop farting. I don't know what's going on, but it stinks recently. Like it's rancid again. Oh, you serious? Yeah. What's the protein you're taking? That's what it is. Protein makes Dude. protein makes it on. That's that's what Root Pootie does to get all those farts for his videos. He says it's protein, protein shakes. And then there was a girl from Ninety Day Fiance who started selling her farts in jars. And the way she would do it was by drinking protein. And uh, I also read that protein makes you have really bad farts. So now you're consuming a lot of protein for your new diet with the working out. That's what it is. Ugh. I haven't I haven't encountered it, though. No, because I, I like it's very rare. But like when it does happen, like it just stays. It just fucking stays there. And I'm like, Jesus, Dude, do you remember that? Get over it. Years ago. I was dropping you off at the Game Grumps office, and I think was 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 <laughs> yeah. Jackson in the car. Yeah, yeah, Jackson. And you get out, of, and and as you got out of the car, you farted. 
like silently and shut the door. And then you just stood like away and watched as we just like both got out of the car. Like, oh my God. It was, dude, it was, it was unbelievable. That's one of the worst. I, I, did. I love, Come here. I love standing. I love how. Do you remember this? You were in the back seat of my car. Ryan was in the passenger seat. This is a couple years ago. And we parked at the gamer's office to let Ryan off to go get in his car because we had hung out and then I'm dropping him back off. And as he got out, he like silently farted. And oh, and then we were. So do you remember how bad that was, it was though? It was, it I just like stood, so milky. <laughs> it, it was thick. It stuck around. I could taste it. It was honestly oh, one of the was, worst it, ever. It, it ever. It really smelled like expired milk. There was ever. No better way to. It was. It Y'all had to get so out of the car. Yeah, we had to so open the doors and get out of the car. And you were just standing by your car laughing. It was horrible. That was that was truly bad. I just remember like just like I love how you. Uh, recalled it where it's like and then you just got out and then you stood there and watched to you see did, what you walked over to your car and kind of like looks back and just stood yeah, there before you got in the I car wanted to, smirk on your face. <laughs> I wanted to see you knew the... you had done something bad <laughs> you did something naughty and you were it like a drone pilot kills a it's such an assault it's like ew dude it's like why did you leave me with your I hope in like five years I hope that's cancelable in the next like five <laughs> years Wow. it's like that's considered like you assault Dude, well, he he gassed them good. When we were at the Deer Hunter concert. <laughs> oh my god, uh -oh. dude! <laughs> I was I was at a Deer Hunter. <laughs> was it the one where like Har was it Harrison who was like, it's not even funny, serious? <laughs> like he got like legitimately I pissed. I had gluten that day, which of course I shouldn't. So we're at the Deer Hunter concert. Um, and it's me, Jackson, and Harrison. Right? Was it just the three of us? Yeah, the three of us. And uh, you know, it's a crowd. We're in a crowd. And Jackson's like, oh, I can, I can fart because no one will know it's me. So he <laughs> farted. That. Well, yeah, that's what you thought in your head. And you fart. And I knew the second I smelled it, I knew it was you. <laughs> and Harris and I both smelled at the same time. And, and the girls standing next to us covered their noses. And like, we're like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And like two other dudes walked away. And then Harrison and I just walked off. Hey, and every, everyone cleared off. The house after that. You did because <laughs> everyone in like a five foot radius walked away. And you were left standing there by yourself. And I'm like, sorry, dude, I'm not like, and you, you were like, God, you guys really just had to walk away. I'm like, I'm not going to stand there and subject myself to your colon. I had to see him play helicopter. Yeah. yeah you <laughs> got, you really got the like, best view. People just walk no, away yeah. from you. It was like, a, yeah. like, like if I was standing here, like this. Everyone. Was you, and it was you, just didn't, you didn't think to act like, <laughs> you didn't think to like act like, oh shit, what is that? No, he just stood there and the girls next to us covered their faces. Two guys walked away. Like, Do you think people fuck? realized it was him? Well, he's the only one standing there. <laughs> It was, it was, it was brutal. Yeah, so it, it was, like, I joke, I was so embarrassed. It was one of those ones, it's like, oh, this is silent, it's not gonna No, like, it was, it was bad. My stomach hurts a little bit. Yeah. It, it lingered, it was thick in the air, you could taste it. <laughs> it actually just smelled Once like, like a kid had shit his pants. Were you like, when fuck, I smelled, I was like, fuck, I was like, fuck, oh, like, oh, oh, this isn't going away. <laughs> it, it stuck around, dude, it really smelled like someone like shit their shorts. Well, I was at the gym today, and I was running on a, I was running on a treadmill, and I let one of those out. No one was up on the <laughs> second area with me and all of a sudden i see someone walk in the gym I'm like please don't come up here and i'm like come on and i look at the timer because i'm jogging and it's like been like a minute and i'm like jesus christ please i'm like please 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 go i don't want anyone to walk up here because it would be so it's, obvious, it's obvious it was me. i'm the only one up there but thank god no one walked Dude, up yours there. fucking linger yours oh, they move fuck. out of the hall from the room you're in <laughs> they and they move like they move like down the hall spirit. it's fucking it's awful man like, i literally had the comedy movie moment the other day or like a couple months ago when i was in an elevator at like a fucking hotel i'm the only guy in there i'm like I can't hold this fart. I have to let it oh, out. You never dangerous. fart. That's you dangerous. never I, fart in an empty elevator. Never. Well, I was. I was Wait the next floor. Like, it was on two because I was going down to one from like you know seventeen or something like that. And it's on like two or three, and like some guy gets in. I'm like, <laughs> that's your fault for taking the elevator down one floor. <laughs> that's your fault. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of like honestly, that one's on him. But I love that because it's like there's no playing that off. It's like he know, no. like he's like this guy just farted. I'm smelling his ass. <laughs> I said some shit. I was like, "Oh man, some guy just got out of here." <laughs> Wait, you said that? I think I did. Yeah. yeah, man, some guy was just in here and just fucking just uh, shredded, man. You couldn't play that off. Some guy was just. Yeah, I love how you're alone and you're like, "Yeah, some other guy was in here." Some he, guy was oh, in here before you he got in. Really it smelled like it. shit, man. I think oh. it's like when you walked in, I had my hand covering my nose. I was like, "Oh, it smells so bad in here." I'll never forget the 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 last last thing I'll tell before we end the podcast was uh, Jackson. And I went to this like art show in Charleston once that some kids we knew were putting on and uh you remember this and uh we had to use the bathroom 
in Jackson really had to shit. So like we're waiting for the bathroom and there's like two bathrooms, like single bathrooms and they're both full. So we're waiting out there waiting. And then Jackson's ex-girlfriend walks up to wait for the bathroom too. And like he hadn't talked to her in a very long time. And it was just the three of us. And Jackson like was so uncomfortable. He didn't know what to say. He just goes, oh man, I think I'm about to shit my pants. And then just walked into the bathroom. <laughs> And that's the only thing he said was, oh, I'm about to hey, shit, you didn't my shit, pants. Your pants, I shit my pants though. That, that was so fucking funny. And I was just standing out there with her after that, after like all you had said was I'm about to shit my pants. And then it, we just didn't say I was anything. About to shit my pants. Yeah, you weren't telling a lie, man. That was good. That was good as fuck. I can say what they want. I was no liar. Yeah, abs- absolutely. <laughs> hey, well, uh, we called we called uh, inward Brian. He couldn't figure out the riddle either. So it is oh, bullshit. Nice. It it's is bullshit, complete yeah. bullshit. Yeah. And he's like the smartest guy I know. Yeah, he's, oh. he has a PhD. So, uh, yeah, he does. I wonder, he probably does, honestly. Anyway, that's all for today's episode of Super Mega Cast. We'll be back next week, episode 283, with a very special guest. Uh, so make and sure to Maybe another special guest after that if yeah. everything goes according to plan. No, not, not you. Not, no, no, Jackson. Hey, dude, you ever watch Filthy Frank? Oh, no way. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Filthy Frank. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Wait, the guy runs Filthy Frank too? Filthy Frank 2, brother. That's it. That's it, bro. All right. Thank you all again. Go uh, suck go a dick or go Rams. I, I, well, I was going to say go check out our Patreon, but suck a dick works too. Go, go fuck, suck a how dick. About, how about go fuck yourself? Go fuck yourself, kids. All right. Bye. Kids? No, not kids. You know what I mean. It's it, Go fuck yourself of age adults. Yep. There we go.